I'm Eve Hall and I'm a district vet based at Holbrook. Things aren't exactly lush and um, green here at the moment. We'd certainly, in, in a normal year, it'd be a lot greener and, and things be looking a lot more positive. In any given year, um, particularly when we're, when we're thinking about lambing ewes, uh, energy is one of the most critical factors. Uh, with the lack of available energy out in the paddocks at the moment, uh, that's been really critical when it, uh, factor to consider when it comes to hand feeding ewes going into lambing and through lambing. Energy demands of, of a pregnant animal increase significantly going into late gestation and then again into lactation as well. And similarly for calcium, uh, in the case of the ewe, a lot of that calcium is required for the mineralisation of, of foetuses, so uh, those calcium demands are particularly high for twin bearing or multiple bearing ewes. We've got so much technology at our fingertips and that enables us to use information that we can gather from on farm, whether that be feed test results, which are really critical, and also knowing exactly what different classes of stock require in terms of energy and protein demands. We're able to take that information and plug it into simple apps and things like that on our smartphones these days, and that can give us a, a number that we, we need to be feeding out in the paddock. So, uh, it's, it's, it's quite simple uh, and, and quite readily done. Feeding stock uh, in confinement has been a really helpful management tool this drought. There's numerous benefits of, of feeding stock in confinement. One is certainly that it does lower the overall energy requirements of those stock. It also enables us to rest our pastures and, and gives them a chance to respond when there is a rainfall event. Some of the big challenges this year have certainly been coming through this drier autumn and, and going into autumn lambing. The issues there can be that, you know, if we have got energy deficiency um, or calcium deficiency, we can end up with ewes going down with what we call metabolic disease. Supplementing calcium in the form of some lime mixed with some salt is absolutely critical. Calcium can also be added in the form of lime directly to grain. Really, really critical to get feed tests done. Uh, and I think another, another really important thing to do is to purchase and value feed based on a, a, a price per megajoule basis uh, rather than, than, a, than a weight. Drought's a reality uh, in agriculture and uh, it's a risk that we, we just need to manage uh, and there are some really, really good uh, management tools available to us that can really help us get through these times. Um, you'll certainly see the good farmers out there will actually be doing quite well in these years.